everybody, and welcome to this episode of Beer is Tasty. My name is Chris. And I am Brian. Hello, Brian. Hi, Chris. High five. Hi. Beer is Tasty. Let's drink beer. So this episode, we're reviewing something a little new in my neck of the woods, at least. I don't know about them out there. It is beautiful. We bought this beer at Costco. It is in Kirkland bulk. Signature Beer. Kirk and here's the interesting thing. So you get a beer. 24 pack, and it comes with four different flavors, I think. Is that what it was? Four, four flavors. flavors. Give or take. I don't know. I was drunk flavors. at the time that we bought it, so, so I don't remember. So we're getting a pale ale this right. week. And uh, now there's a little bit of interesting backstory to the Kirkland Signature Beer. Brian, who makes the Kirkland Signature Beer? Uh, I don't remember. Uh, Jeremy, behind the camera, who makes the Kirkland Signature Beer? Gordon Beer. Gordon, Gordon Beer. They, uh, I don't know exactly where they're located, but I do know they have a Seattle restaurant that Jeremy has been to. Um, he says it's fantastic. Two thumbs up. What we like to do here on Beer is Tasty is give you valid and important information. So well, we just did that just there. There's I, no way that that is inaccurate what information. What I think is interesting about that little factoid is it's not actually like Costco making it themselves. They're contracting through another company. Disagree with everything you just said. According That is according to the internet. According to Ein Botel, it is brewed and bottled by... Hopfen, Hopfen und Malz Brewing, Brewing Company. Company in San Jose, California. That is what it says. Maybe, uh, the, maybe different flavors are made. Important by different... to note, it is kosher. And here's where we go so, with the little story for the folks out go. there at home. Uh, this is the pale ale, and this is a classic American-style pale that displays all of the complex bitterness and aroma from the hops of Yakima Valley in Washington State. That's our home turf. Uh, by using top fermenting ale yeast strain, we bring out the floral and herbal flavor uh -huh. profiles. A clean, multi body is developed from the pale, light caramel malt. So, what you're saying is it's brewed in San Jose, California, using, using malts from Yakima, Washington, right. and theoretic, right. Right, yeah, theoretically involved with beer. Sh in Some other somewhere, place. Other, it has a restaurant in Right, and then, all right, so now I'm just getting a clear picture of what's, Bottom, what's going Bottom on. Marysville, Washington. It's just, it's just interesting to know history. Hey, we should me. mention, if you hear a little extra background noise, that's because it's, it's so 2,000 degrees Lord, here in the studio. And uh, I don't know why Jeremy's making I just farted noise moves in the, back, in the background. Not really sure either. it's really hot, so you'll probably hear fan noise. We apologize. Hey, Brian. Yes. We should mention also... We're going to do a theme while we drink these Kirkland beers. Oh, yeah. So we've got, we've got four of these Kirkland beers we're going to go with. And we've got four foodstuffs. Not just any foodstuff. No. Get this, guys. When you go to Costco or related places, what do you buy? Frozen stuff. You buy frozen That's stuff. That's what I buy, Brian. 90% of the time, what does that frozen stuff taste like? Well, pizza. It tastes like pizza. But it isn't necessarily pizza. No. So what we did is we bought food, four things that taste like pizza but aren't, but pizza. aren't pizza. No. They're not even pizza, Brian. America. Well, they might have some sort of right pizza there. elements in them, but they're not traditional pizza. All right, so this thing is a uh, 35 on the IBU. Yeah. Actually, it smells kind of nice. It's got a 5.4% alcohol by volume. Not crazy strong. No, that's fine. It's, it's, I mean, but it's, it's going to be better than, like, uh, you know, your standard uh, Bud Light. What's a Bud? Like a Bud Light? Like, 4.2 or 4.5? Yeah, 4.7. Yeah, 4. Yeah. 4. 4. Something. I just rattled that information off. And the trick is, when you rattle off beer information, do it with confidence. It does have a good... Because uh, if you're wrong, after the fact, you can either you can claim you're drunk. But most of the time, people won't check your facts because it's beer information. It has, like, a good, like, like Acme beer smell to it. Not, like, like, you know, just, like, generic beer smell. Acme beer Not smell. Not, like, crazy in any one direction. Here we go. A little in the middle. That's not bad. Oh, it is pretty hoppy. That's pretty hoppy for a pale. That's not, that's not bad. That's a hoppy pale. It's clean. Right there, Brian. It's crisp. It is clean and crisp. Oh, man. Mm. Boy, in this hot studio, I bet Jeremy it's cold as hell. Like this yeah, seriously. Right oh, man. Oh, Jeremy's so... sitting back there so dry. Mm. We've, got, we've got a guy behind the camera and behind the recording gear over there not drinking beer. This is just because we're mean people. Let's do this with a pizza bite. Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, I'm just going to say it. I like pizza bites. Yeah, me too. I like pizza bites. <laughs> I know I shouldn't. It's like those. It's like those funyun. Those like that that jar of dried onions. Sometimes I just open the jar and eat them, and I know I'm not supposed to. I realize that's very low that's rent. That's disgusting. No, that's not low rent. That's disgusting. Pizza bites are awesome. Yeah, yeah. You put pizza bites in your mouth, you immediately smile. Yeah, these are good. Anything that causes you to so, smile is good food. Let's do a little mix here. A little mix and mix and oh, mix. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Mm. 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 Mm-hmm. Okay. A hint of caramel. It's good. A hint of caramel. That's really good together. Yeah, it's delicious. 
So this is a fantastic pizza oh, beer. This is a fantastic pizza beer. If yeah. I were a pizza parlor, hmm, well, well, if I were a pizza parlor right now, I would want this beer. Yeah, this is a this really, is really great, pretty yeah, good. Which is great is Costco sells so much pizza like stuff in the frozen section. You can pick up I, your pizza and your pizza beer. I gotta be honest. I was pretty Boy, skeptical. Costco should, should frickin' sponsor us. I mean, I mean, come on, come on. I mean, Costco like essentially branded beer. Yeah. How good can that possibly I mean, it's be? Not like, it's not like the most amazing beer. I mean, ever. this is theoretically, if you're buying stuff that's like Costco branded, that's one step up from buying like a can that's white but that just says beer in black on the front. I mean, it's really not that different. Eighteen bucks for a twenty-four pack, and you get different versions of beers in there. No, I mean it's not as cheap as if you're going to go pick up like some Bush Light oh, no, or no, something no, no, like no. that. But no. this is way it's, better than a Bush Light. Holy though. Lord, yes. I, honestly, is, I'd rank this as being right up there with a lot of the better beers we've had over yeah. the last. You know, it's surprising. However long. And it must be because they went to somebody else who has experience in the brewing, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, that's Costco's thing, right? I mean, when they I saw the box, if you follow me on Facebook, I posted, like, the first trip to Costco, I looked at it and I thought, I should get that. Oh, that's good. Then that's going good, back guys. to Costco, I finally pulled the trigger. And I think, I thought it was actually made by, like, I thought, like, I had just envisioned, like, Kirkland factories. Like, Costco Kirkland factories where they just make Kirkland branded when, stuff. When was the last time you were driving around and saw the Costco factory with, I like, smokestacks <laughs> coming out of it? I they're out of state. That doesn't exist. I figured they're out of state. Dude, it's a freaking Kirkland signature. Yeah, but there are other, but Costco's not just in Washington, Holmes. It's Kirkland signature. It's, like, just down the street. I know, but I'm saying... So, you're saying there's no other Kirkland anywhere else I'm in the United States? I'm saying there's no other Kirkland in the United States. Right. Okay. Well, you all can bing Confidence, that. Confidence. You can right bing here. that. Yeah, bing, that's true. You bing that. Because that bing is the do source on, of all that is accurate in the maps. world. Oh. Search on Bing Maps. So I'm going <laughs> to. Bing Maps? Does Bing have a maps thing? Probably. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Let's try uh, giving this a great uh, one. Uh, you, you give it a great one while I enjoy another pizza box right. and beer. This is really quite good. So. I'm going to actually approach this. I was thinking I'd come at this from the point of view of how good is this for a cheap beer, right? And, I, and I'd just judge it against other cheap beers. But honestly, I'm going to judge this against good beers. This is actually a quality beer. You can taste the quality. This doesn't taste chemically. It has a very earthy flavor, very hoppy flavor, and a very delicious flavor. Um, it's clean. It's crisp. Yeah, it really, really is crisp. But when you're the aftertaste is... Um, greasy pizza bites. This just... The aftertaste is very much a generic pale ale aftertaste. It has that that slightly hoppy flavor that you want. Um, it's really not bad. Um, it does. Yeah, you're right. It does have a little. Um, I just did a little. I just did a little chug log, and it has. I've got some little, burps going on. Has a little hoppy aftertaste, but it's nice and. I'm gonna give it a B. Yeah, it's a good beer. Uh, I, it's not. Uh, it's not gonna win any awards, um, unless it's Costco awards, I guess. Uh, but yeah. uh, but it's got the signature on it's it. It's got its signature, Kirkland signature, and it's done in a signature form, uh, like it's a graphic with signet, like someone wrote it. And then they then That's they brought just it in class as a font. right there. It's a font. It's a font. It's a vector font. Font. But it's so good. Be. I'm if gonna you give see it a this box, at least the pale ale. We don't know about the other ones yet. No, we've got three more to go through. So uh, you know, stay tuned, edge of your seats, and wait and see how the box in general. When yeah. we're done. We're going to give the box a grade. And next week, another grade the box. tastes like pizza, but it's not actually pizza food item. Let's well, see. We got, uh, what, what, what do we got coming up so that people bagel can come and eat with it? We got bagel, bagel bites. No, that's, oh yeah, we got bagel bites yeah. coming up. All right, a bagel bites. And we've oh. also got, dude, uh, so we got these Pringles is making these things that are like sticks, little Pringle sticks that taste like pizza. Yeah. Crazy. You know the, you know the, 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 the potato chips, they're in the jar. But, th but these are just little sticks. These are Pringle sticks, freaky. And then there's also uh, Hot Pockets, like twisted Twist. sticks. Uh, so we're, we're gonna try those. So if... She just burped right in my face, guys. This is, this is not cool. I... So welcome. if you wanna eat with us, what well, we're eating now. and drinking, that's the stuff that we're eating and drinking. And then the Kirkland Signature Brian, Box. Brian, tell people how they can get a hold of Beer Is Tasty. Man, I don't, I don't, I'm gonna do it. Not because you told me to, but because I don't want you to open your mouth anymore because it stinks coming from over there is all I'm saying. This is getting ridiculous. You can contact Beer is Tasty. We've got a forum on jupiterbroadcasting.com slash forum. Wait. Jupiter no, Colony. We don't. Shut up. Com. Shut up, Stinky McFace. It's jupitercolony.com. Uh, there's also Beer is Tasty at jupiterbroadcasting.com. Yeah, there is. There's Twitter links. You can find yep. Twitter links. There's Twitter links. Brian LAS and now, Chris LAS. The fact it's of great. the matter is, we're not yet accepting actual shipments of beer. We don't know if we ever will. No. It's a wife issue. We'll get into uh, it another time. Thanks. But if you would like to recommend a beer, you can do so by going to jupiterbroadcasting.com. That was. Wow. 
And then on the right hand snapsy. side, that was great. Or somewhere on the page, yeah. most likely, you mm -hmm. will find a donate, oh. a one time donate button. You can do the monthly if you want. And then you, in the one time donate, though, you oh. can say, hey guys, I'm giving you this money for beer. And you can put your you beer can, recommendation yeah. in there. And we will do our kind. gall darnest to find it. There's, there's a couple of really good craft beer shops around here that import beer from all over the world, so we can get some pretty weird stuff if that's what you like. We're trying to stick with stuff that's available throughout most of the continental United States, if possible. Maybe even in other then, places. Brian. That's, that's where I was going with that, Chris. It's not just about the U.S., Brian. <laughs> no, I know, Chris. There's other countries, Chris. Good Lord. Yeah. Yeah, so this beer's good. Drink this beer. Beep. Cheers. Whatever. Whatever. We'll have a pizza, pizza bite. It's a really good pizza bite. We were really good pizza bites. I know. I don't know why I don't eat these all the time. God, you know, because we're not single. Why aren't we single? <laughs> Everyone should be single. Pizza bites are awesome. F and A. F and A. F and A. F and A.